go through sleep. These men know everything. He had a strange smile. Is everything all right? Hi, folks. My name's Detective Toski, and this is my partner, Detective Armstrong. With the report we got from the officers you spoke with earlier, it appears the person who attacked your family was Jeff the Killer. Who? Jeff the Killer? It's the alias of a serial killer that vanished several years ago, but now it seems like he's back. So why did he attack our family? I'm not sure, ma'am. In all the time chasing him, he's never had a pattern or a motive. The only thing that stays consistent with Jeff is that he only attacks at night. So my daughter almost died and you can't even give me a reason? It appears that way, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want an apology. I just want fucking answers. Sir, calm down. It's all right, Armstrong. So why haven't you caught him? You just gonna let him roam free? It's not that simple, sir. We're doing everything we can. That's why we're here. Armstrong! Can we hear the story? What? Can we hear the story about Jeff the Killer? I don't think that's a good idea, Toski. I agree with Detective Armstrong. I don't think it's a good idea either, sweetheart. No. I think we have a right to know. Okay. Excited to see the new house? It's beautiful, I think you're gonna love it. It's in a great neighborhood, great school, lots of houses. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious. It's a really great place to live. I think a lot of the kids you'll go to school with live on our street. Okay. If you want, later we can go out and get some new for school tomorrow? Nah, I'm good. Fine. Wear whatever you want. At least you shaved your face and now you look your age. First start, even for your face.
so. What do you think? It's fine. It's gonna be really good for us, honey. Get a fresh start, okay? Okay. 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 All right, thanks, honey. All right, boys, grab your bags. Come on back out and get some boxes. Let's go. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I brought you some sweet treats. Special recipe. Thank you. That's very kind of you. There's a piece missing. Oh, well, it was so good it didn't even make it across the street. <laughs> well, that's very kind. Thank you. Don't you mention it. We were just so happy that somebody bought this house. Always love the layout and the look of the place. And we're just so happy that a sweet family like yours scooped it up. It wasn't on the market when we were when we were buying. Gotcha. Jeff, Lou, come say hi to the new neighbor. Where's Lou? He's unboxing inside. Well, come say hi. Oh, hello, young man. What's your name? She just said my name. <clears throat> Jeff. Don't be rude. Come there, Jeff. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. I didn't really like new people when I was your age either. Okay. Anyway, do you have any kids? Oh, yeah. Billy! Billy! Here comes my Billy. He's my angel. Billy's a straight A student and uh, president of the book club. Uh, hi. <laughs> Billy! Barbara, that, that's all right. We've got a lot to do. We're still unpacking, so we need to get back to that. It's fine. They can play later. Oh. It's okay, don't worry about it. You know, we, uh, we, we have to head back in for dinner pretty soon, but Billy actually has a birthday coming up in a few weeks. And usually a big party and all the neighbors come. Sadly this year, we're having some remodeling done on our beautiful house. And it starts the day of his birthday. He's devastated. Well, we should be settled by then. Maybe we can have it here? Mom. I haven't hosted in a while and that would be a good way to get to know the new neighbors. Oh, oh my goodness, that is so kind of you. No, what? Sorry, you said you love the house. Mom, why don't you and Lou go get some boxes? Get your brother, finish up, go ahead, go. But I... Jeffrey, boxes now, please. Thank you. So, what's the dress code? Well, as you can tell, I'm usually a little understated, but some of the neighbors like to dress up, whatever you feel. Okay, that sounds perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> Listen, enjoy the sweet treats. Yeah. I gotta head back in Toodaloo. Okay. Shame and say thank you. Mom was being such a bitch up there. Uh, give it a break, Jeff. It's the stress of moving. Whatever. Jeffrey, you were very rude to that woman. She's annoying. I know she's annoying, Jeffrey, but she's friendly and we need some friends. You have to remember we just moved to a new town. Besides, it wouldn't hurt you to socialize a little bit. Fuck that. What's going on? Mom wants us to host some dumb kids party. What? For that peppy neighbor lady? Wow, I leave for 10 minutes and you're already offering up the house? Mom, I'm not a dumb kid anymore. I don't want to go to a kid's birthday party. You will be at that party, Jeffrey, and that is the final word. Besides, last I checked, being a teenager doesn't stop you from being a child. And this is your house. You cannot skip out on a party at your own house. Dad. Listen to your mother, Jeffrey. But I... Fine. Thanks, Peter. Gross, guys. Okay. Boys, go finish up with the luggage. Fuck! Jeff. Are you okay? I just don't get why we have to go to this stupid party. I don't know, man. It's not exactly my thing either. Well, I didn't see you standing up for me down there. Run the risk of me getting in trouble too? Hell no. Wow. I can really feel the brotherly love. <laughs> Look, I figure we're gonna get forced to go to this thing anyways, so why try and fight it? I just wish you'd stand up for me sometimes. <laughs> I do what I can. 
You need to learn to pick your fights better with mom and dad. I'm not just talking about mom and dad. Look, Jeff. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. If I had known that kid was planning on hurting you, I would have done something sooner. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. I mean, we're in a new town and a new school. And besides, not every town has a doped up asshole waiting to jump a kid they don't understand. <clears throat> Whatever. Oh, by the way, we finally moved to a house where we both have our own rooms and you still decide to sleep on my bedroom floor? Just because we have a bigger house doesn't mean that everything needs to change. <laughs> Besides, Mom and Dad really pissed me off today. This whole party thing's got you bugged, huh? Yes, it does. Because it's Mom and Dad faking nice. Mom likes to play Mommy when it suits her, and only when it suits her. She uses it to manipulate us into doing anything and everything so she can sit around on her ass all day and imagine her perfect life without kids. Meanwhile, Dad stands idly by and just only speaks when spoken to. It's like he's her little fucking lapdog and it makes me sick. Wow. You know, I think we both need some rest. Yeah. You're probably right. All right, well, don't expect the sleeping arrangement every night, okay? Yeah. All right. Mm. I'm not getting the light. Good night, Lou. Night, Jeff. I need to get changed. I'll race to the bus stop. <laughs> Whoa, I win! You cheated, <laughs> fucker! Oh, yeah? Stop! <laughs> Are you ladies lost? Who the hell are you? Oh, how rude of me. This is Keith, this is Troy, and I'm Randy. And since you're new here, I thought I'd warn you. There's a uh, small bus fare you gotta pay if you really wanna ride. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, check the mouth on this one. The one in the back doesn't seem to talk much. What's your problem, you deaf or something? We don't want any trouble, okay? So like I just said, fuck off. Oh, and he speaks for the little one too. What's your problem, huh? You should lighten up a bit. Smile more. Alright. I've had about enough of this pay up. Huh. Oh. Hey! Give my brother his wallet back, asshole. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it?
come on. Come on. got food after class today, so... Of course you did. I was just about to order dinner. Uh, nah, we're good. We just ate, so... Alright, well, how was your first day? Uh, it was good. Yeah? Jeffrey? Wonderful, actually. Yeah? Good. Alright, guys, I'll be right down. Jeff? Mm. I just wanted to see after, you know, today. Are you okay? Yeah. I can't explain it. But I feel alive. Good night, boys. Good night, Mom. I love you. Hi, this is Woods. Yeah? My name is Officer Wolf. Okay, how can I help you? It has been brought to our attention that one of your sons attacked a couple of the neighborhood boys yesterday morning. What's going on? This officer is saying that one of the boys attacked some kids yesterday. That's impossible. Our kids were at school yesterday. Our report says the attack would have happened before your kids would have been at school. Three boys were attacked and sent to the hospital. One of them was stabbed. Oh. I know, ma'am. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but several witnesses saw your boys fleeing the scene. I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. All three victims claim both your sons were there, however only one was the aggressor. They believe it was the younger of the two. Jeffrey! So you're saying my son took on three boys all by himself? That's the story we got, sir. Jeffrey, this officer is saying that you attacked some kids yesterday and stabbed one of them. Stabbed, Jeffrey. Oh my god, Jeffrey! They were the ones who pulled the knives on me and Luke, Mom. Son, we found three kids. One with a broken wrist, and another with a puncture wound in his arm. They started it. Witnesses saw you fleeing the scene. We're gonna have to take you and your brother down to the station and ask some questions, okay? How do you need Luke? He didn't do anything. Witnesses saw you both leaving the scene. Bull 
bullshit. Leave him out of this. Sorry. Wait! Son, drop the weapon. It was me. Luke. I beat the shit out of those kids. I have the marks to prove it. Son, just put down the knife. Lou, stop! Tell them it was me! I won't let you get in trouble for what I did. Luke. I'm ready. Lou. Lou, don't do this! Lou. Lou. Lou! Lou, don't do this! So did his brother really hurt those kids, or was it Jeff? At the time, it was believed that Lou did it. But after everything that's happened, the evidence points towards Jeff being the assailant. So, he really took on three kids all by himself? It seems that way. So, how long was his brother locked up for? He got sentenced a year for assault. Oh my god. I'm guessing Jeff didn't take that too well. No. His mother was seen talking to her neighbor in the months leading up to the birthday party. She said that Jeff lost interest in everything after Lou got taken away. He stopped interacting with the family, he stopped going to school, and he went days, even weeks, without talking. What did he do instead of going to school? Well, some people claim to see him walking around the woods behind his house, and sometimes they even claim to see him with trash bags. And no one said anything? Well, everyone had heard what had happened and felt bad for him, so they just let him be. Was there a time where Jeff wasn't like this after his brother got taken? Well, some people claim to have seen him having fun at the party before it went to hell. What do you mean the party went to hell? Jeffrey is really mad at us. Um, he can't stay mad at you forever. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look at him. Look at how much fun he's having out there playing with the kids. Yeah, I haven't seen him smile like that in weeks. Well, who could resist an adorable little face like that? Did you send him over? Where do you think he got the extra fake guns and the bandanas from? <laughs> Thanks. Don't. Are those friends of Billy's? I don't think so. Jeffrey Woods. What the fuck do you want? I mean you have some unfinished business. No. I kicked your ass. You got my brother locked up. We're even. Oh, I don't go for even. I go for winning. 
think you boys need to leave? Shut up, bitch. Excuse me? You heard him, bitch. Leave her out of this. <laughs> you think you're tough shit, Jeffrey Woods? I'll show you how tough you are. <laughs> <laughs> Boys! Stay back, bitch. Need some help? You're not getting away this time. all you got after I put your brother in jail? He'd be so ashamed of what a pussy his brother turned out to be. You're fucking pathetic. I wasn't doing anything. I... Bullshit! I got it all on my phone. Give me that. Give me that. Fuck off, Woods! I said give it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, not this time. You're fucking dead! Enjoying this, aren't you? But not even a freak like you would enjoy this. Oh! Ah! 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 So you still want more?
Three teenagers terrorized a birthday party of 12-year-old Billy Monger. In the ensuing violence, the three boys were killed by neighbor and classmate Jeffrey Woods in what the courts deemed an act of self-defense. Woods' older brother Lou had been locked up for several months due to a previous altercation with the three boys, an altercation that Lou had been believed to have instigated. However, eyewitness accounts at the 12-year-old's party were able to corroborate that this was a false narrative and that he and his brother had acted in a self-defense, leading to Lou's release. For everyone here at Channel 8, I'm Ann Luce. to be coming home? I know Lou's going to be happy to see you. He's been waiting all day. Are you hungry? I asked your father and Lou to get dinner. Dad said, you know, I'll eat anything. I'm hungry. I suggested Mexican. He didn't want Mexican, so... Sushi it is. I'm sure you're shocked. We'll be there soon. It'll be good. How's he done? I don't know. The doctor said we could take the bandages off soon, but I'm worried when he sees his face, he'll never smile again. All we can do is be there for him. It'll be okay. I don't know. We have a week or so before the bandages go off. It'll be okay. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 
my smile for the rest of your life. What's the matter, Mommy? Don't you think I'm beautiful? Always. Good night. Good night, Mommy. stop the guy. Why you specifically? Oh, I owed them because no. I was there that day. It'll be okay. I arrested Lou. I could have done something. I could have stopped him, but I ignored my gut and I arrested him anyway. <laughs> Every death since that day has been blood on my hands. to stop him. Just get here as quickly as possible. It's it's my brother. I think he's hurting people. Yeah, no, I'm at 419 West... Jeff. Jeff? Jeff! 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 No! Jeff! 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 Okay, Toski. I think they've heard enough. It's time that we go. Merely believed to have been nothing but a run of the mill B and E gone wrong has since been deemed a home invasion and attempted murder by serial killer Jeffrey Woods, who has been inactive for several years following an encounter with Jane Elizabeth Arkansas, the only known survivor of a Jeff the Killer attack before tonight. Gotcha. 